lighting brain. These first eight months of 2020 have rocked us. Kobe, a pandemic, George Floyd, and this past week, Kenosha, Wisconsin, Jacob Blake, and the collective response from NBA players. It's been relentless, hasn't it? And in the midst of the situations that are ongoing, which we monitor minute by minute, you get blindsided. Lute Olson, the iconic Hall of Fame college basketball coach at Arizona, died at 85 Thursday. He won a national championship in 97, went to the tournament 23 straight years, had more than 30 players make it to the NBA. On Friday night, an actor we've had on this very show in the past, Chadwick Boseman, the star of Black Panther, the star of 42, leaves us at 43 after a four-year battle with cancer. Clipper fan. Shoot straight. I, I'm a Tar Heel fan. There it is. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. He but knows it, that. But that's such He's a Tar Heel fan. It's such a weird vibe in here. It's a home game for Clippers, yeah. and it sounds like three quarters of them are Laker fans. It was, it was amazing at one point because you can hear, you know, let's go Lakers, and then the response, let's go Clippers. It's going to be an interesting year. It, it's, we should have a city championship. You, you, you know what? Got a city championship. It, 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 would, it would be great. It, it would be great to have us, what we call, used to have the Subway Series in New York with the Mets. And Chadwick Boseman, that's the superhero in everyone. Hold up. Pause. So what we're doing is like taking the iconic photos of Kobe. We're going to kind of recreate him so it's like he's the superhero, right? Right, there it is. Like he just won and the, the exorbitant, the, all of that, like. Ah! Your life has meant so much to so many people. I can't even put into words how much, cause I didn't even know, I didn't know how much it meant. I knew I loved Kobe, but I didn't know I loved him as much as I did. 